Hi people, how are you all? I have honestly had the most hectic week, and so hectic in fact that I am actually editing this video the same morning I'm planning to upload it, so if there are a few slight errors and it's later than usual, I'm gonna apologise. But I hopefully did still get this out on the right day, and so I think I should get points for that. Today I'm drawing one of my favourite OCs and the main character of the comic project I'm working on, which is Dinadan. Although apparently some people pronounce it Dinadan. But that sounds weird, so we're going to stick with Dinadan, because it's a better ring to it, I think, personally. Tell me how you pronounce it down below if you've ever heard it before. Maybe it's an American thing. Who knows? So I figured I would talk generally today about how I designed the character, and things I like to see in main characters and various comics and stuff. It's not going to be particularly structured, I wrote the script, I know. It's rambly. But if you don't love my ramblings, what are you doing here? So why Dinadan? When I first decided to base my comic on the Knights of the Round Table, I obviously had to pick one of them to focus on. Most of the time, people tend to either go for Lancelot, who I'm sure you've all heard of, or Arthur, which you've definitely heard of. Because the central story of Arthurian legend always ends with Lancelot and Arthur's feud, causing the fall of Camelot, not so nice death, destruction, basically the end of everything, and so it's kind of important. Arthur also has a pretty solid narrative in his rise to the throne, so there's a good story in there too. But most of the other knights have only got like short bursts of rather unconnected adventures to stick together. Some have enough of a storyline to piece together one arc, but they always feel a little bit episodic. And so you kind of have to make it up, which obviously they're only legends, so you can mix and match and invent as much as you like. But generally most people go for Lance or Arthur. So I figured, hmm, why not let's pick a random little knight that no one has ever really heard of, who has no story arc of his own, and his defining character trait is he's funny sometimes. But I always liked him because he just sort of pops up all over the place in everybody else's stories. He's far from an ideal knight, and with such idealistic stories about chivalry and right and wrong, I figured why not have a character who can kind of come in there and be like, what the hell is wrong with all you idiots? This makes no sense. So obviously then I had to build a personality around this character who has no character traits. So I figured I would take bits and pieces from some of my favourite characters from other works, although I think a lot of that happened subconsciously because I kind of just decided who I wanted him to be and now that I'm breaking it down I'm realising that I totally stole a bunch of other artists, so there's that. First, obviously, he needed a sense of humour. One defining character trait, you've got to put it in. Wit and humour are some of the only things that he's actually known for. If you've ever seen Monty Python, he's the one who makes all the jokes. And so skipping this point would have probably been a bad move. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at being funny. So I figured I'd go for plenty of sarcasm and teasing as opposed to making puns or cracking jokes every five seconds because I feel like at least sarcastic humour I might have a hope with. Although I would like to maybe try the puns thing. I don't know, I've always wanted to have a running series of like little jokes through my comic. Maybe I'll try it on a side character. We'll, we'll see. I also wanted Dinazan to be very practical and sensible. And one of the characters I realise has probably made up quite a decent chunk of his personality is actually Kakashi Hatake out of Naruto. Not in the he's cool and suave sense, but in the very relaxed, nonchalant, he deals with everything sarcastically, slightly judgmental, always happy to avoid a fight if he can, but still got that nice strong set of morals and loyalty, and he'll fight if he needs to. I'll be honest, it was a completely unintentional comparison, but Kakashi was the first anime character I ever got properly attached to, so it makes sense, I think, that some of his traits have leaked through to my own characters. But I definitely wanted that very relaxed, I don't need to worry about the politics and the infighting because I'm being me and I'm happy and you know what? I'm not going to fight this guy just for the sense of honour because it's rather pointless. And that's sort of what I was going for. That said, I obviously couldn't have made my character too rise above it all. And so I had to handicap somehow. And I went for this quite literally and figured that the easiest way to bring a knight down and make that 
nonchalant there's almost a disadvantage in places was to have him be absolutely awful with sword i got this general idea out of the there's a character in a book i read when i was little called the savage damsel and the dwarf which is a retelling of sir gareth's story from Arthurian legend and one of the main characters in it Gaheris, is known for only ever fighting when he needs to and he fights very defensively because he's just plain rubbish with a sword and so he's always trying to avoid fights where he can because otherwise he just tends to get his ass handed to him but he does have little techniques he's the sort of person who will try and make his enemy walk backwards over something or cut a string and drop something on his head to try and fight because he knows that his sword skills aren't up to where everyone else's were and i really like the way that this fit with the rest of what i had for dinner done so all that was left was to fill out some of the little bits of his personality, which I just kind of picked things that I thought worked. He's bad at sword fighting, so he grew up loving books. He only fights when he needs to, so he dislikes fancy tournaments where people stab each other for fun. He's loyal to his friends, even if those friends are a pain in the butt sometimes, which is kind of an important story point, so I should really made that a bigger deal. But that sort of thing. I'm aware that this got a little bit rambly, I did tell you that would happen, so Somewhere back on topic, this actual piece was based around the idea of his younger days, sitting around his father's estate in the library, reading books because he doesn't want to go out and fight and learn to fight with his brothers because he's just going to get beat up by his younger brother, who is many years younger than him, and it's embarrassing. So he's sat in the library, and I specifically remember seeing a Instagram video of someone drawing out bookshelves and like using different digital art tools to try and make them look 3D. I'm not sure I quite got it, but I did my best, and that's sort of what brought me here. I also wanted to play with the lighting and try and make the whole thing look really like cosy and cottagey and just if I had a house with a library in it, this is what my library would feel like. That sort of candlelit ambiance and just cuddly and soft, because Dinpan's meant to be a bit of a softy. Like, he's sarcastic and he teases people, but at the end of the day, he just wants to curl up in front of the fire, because that's awesome. I think this was also the first time that I ever used a textured pen to do my line art instead of the pencil, which I believe was an idea I got from watching ABD Illustrates, but I really liked how it turned out, so I'm going to be doing that more from now on, I think. All in all, I was super proud of this piece by the time it was finished, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create it too. If you like this video, please comment your thoughts down below, and as always, I am open to any suggestions for how I can improve my videos, or things I should talk about in future videos, so please leave any and all suggestions for how I can improve. So, thanks again, leave a like, and I'll see you next week. Bye!